In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we're celebrating the feast of St. Ambrose, who was a bishop and doctor of the church. Living in the fourth century, um, claim to fame, he was supposedly the one who baptized both St. Jerome and St. Augustine. Must have been something in the water back then. As we gather in God's presence, let us be mindful of our sins and ask for God's healing. Lord Jesus, he healed a contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, he came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, who plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with a joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be open, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then the lame will leap like a stag, and the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will birth forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh <coughs> will be a marsh for the reeds and papyrus. The highway will be there, called the holy way. No one unclean will pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those who with a journey to make and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing. Crowned with everlasting joy, they will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, that injustice will look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. 
Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, who is this who blasphemes? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, what are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are for forgiven? Or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been laying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonished, astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, we have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In contemporary culture, there is a metaphor called dropping the mic or the microphone, something that an actor or actress would do on stage after completing their delivery of whatever it is their act or performance was, and they drop the mic as an exclamation point that is done. Nothing more to be said, no critique to be heard. Now, it's metaphorical in the sense that if you actually drop a microphone, you're going to damage A, the microphone, and B, the sound system, and C, probably everyone's ears as the boom occurs. But you can understand how that would be a pretty dramatic exclamation point of the completion. Jesus, believe, I believe, drops the mic, so to speak, in this gospel passage. The Jewish people were anticipating the Messiah. For a couple thousand years, they were anticipating the Messiah. And it was the Old Testament prophet Isaiah that said, when the Messiah comes, when the kingdom of God is about to occur, the blind will be allowed to see, the deaf will hear, the lame will walk, the good news will be preached to those who need to hear it. Jesus comes along and starts performing just those signs, healing the blind, the deaf, and in this particular gospel passage, the lame. And unfortunately, the scholars of the law didn't quite catch the similarity. They didn't recognize the pattern. Instead, they took issue with Jesus' words, as if they didn't believe that the miracles he was performing was a fulfillment of scripture, of a prophecy. And so Jesus kind of very rationally says, all right, you don't believe that I can forgive sins because it's hard to tell if, I've, if the sins are forgiven. I can say that. Who knows? But if I heal this lame person, you might question wh whether or not he was ever lame. But once you see him walking around, you know that he's not crippled anymore. So as a matter of dropping the mic, Jesus tells the man to pick up his mat and walk away. A miracle performed, boom, end of story, end of discussion. Or is it? The discussion publicly may have ended, but that didn't stop the, the minds running, the tongues wagging behind the scenes as they try to figure out what to do with Jesus, simply as they ignored the fact the truth before their eyes that Jesus was performing miracles. Even if Jesus wasn't from God, even if they didn't like him for any given reason, the fact that he performed miracles that they couldn't explain otherwise should have caused them to take some caution and to double check what they're thinking, what they're seeing. And yet, their hardened hearts could only go one way. Here we are a couple thousand years later, I wonder how much we've heard Jesus drop the mic, either with his miracles or with his resurrection. It almost seems like we continue to go on behind the scenes, ignoring the fact that he came, that he fulfilled the scripture, that he's continuing to be alive in the lives of so many people, living the gospels in the world around us. May we not be like the scribes and the Pharisees with our hearts so hardened that we can't see that Jesus is continuing to drop the mic all around us. 
Let us bring our prayers and concerns for the world and the church before God. For the church throughout the world, may she grow in faith, hope, and charity in her ministry, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For government and world leaders, may the Advent message of hope in a new world inform and direct their decisions and actions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to find meaning and direction in their lives, may the peace of Christ be a light and hope for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us as we journey through the season of Advent, may the Holy Spirit continue to transform our hearts to that of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For David Alta, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they enter into eternal life with God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we place these prayers before you with trust in your holy will. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of this holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly entrust, entr enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away this into the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away this into the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away this into the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of the sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.